Hi there, and welcome to a perfectly calm bonfire. Roasting some nice marshmallows on this sword. I don't know why all the bonfires have a sword in them. I, don't know. I never really thought about it. You know what this just reminds me of? Camping. Well, that and the like the the Yule Log channel. Oh yeah. It during Christmas. Yeah, I'd always put that on at Christmas time. The strangest thing is, is I, like you never think <laughs> like, hey. It's like a fake fire on my television. That'll be good. But it, 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 it's... It's surprisingly satisfying. It's... Damn it. Actually, I don't know if people down in the States get that. I think that's only a Canadian thing. I remember when I worked at Walmart, we would actually sell, like, a video. It was actually a DVD of the Yule Log. Huh. And it would have, like, Kenny Rogers music on it. And then just with the Yule Log burn. Yeah. Huh. It actually sold quite well. Yeah. If, if this isn't an American thing... What it is is we literally just have a channel on TV that around Christmas time, all it is is basically... It's all year long, dude. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's shit. Just, most people, you just watch it around Christmas. Around Christmas. So it's basically just a channel with a few Yule logs, and they're just burning like a fireplace. Yeah, someone just has a fireplace going. That's all it is. Nothing special about it. It's just tradition. Yeah. It really is. So if you guys have it in the States, Awesome. I don't know if you do or not, but if you don't, now you know what it is. Yeah, and I remember one year they just had a wooden chair in it. Really? Yeah, there's just like a wooden chair in the fire. Yeah. And I was like, why? why? I'm guessing it was like an old chair that was broken. Uh, okay. And yeah, I was just like, alright. And then like you'd see the hand that would come and poke the fire every once in a while, and you're like, woo! Woo! Had something different! It's always some guy wearing a plaid long sleeve shirt. <laughs> Oh, actually, also, I'm going to take the time right now. For all of you Americans, not everywhere in Canada does bagged milk. That is, out east, people out west think that's weird too. Is it? Is that a thing? People actually think we have bagged milk? Oh, they do. In Like, in Ontario and in Nova Scotia and stuff, they have bagged milk. I've never once seen bagged milk. Yeah, when I went out to Toronto and I lived there for a while. What it is is that it's actually, you get the same amount of milk as a four liter, but it's cheaper than buying a four liter, and you get three bags in like a package, and then what you do is you buy a thing from the dollar store that's like kind <laughs> of like a like a juice pitcher almost, and then you just put the bag in it, and you cut the tip and put it down, and you pour it like that. That's, that's odd. Yeah. So everywhere I've seen it, it's like all the people in the States are like, Canada has bagged milk. And I'm like, no, it's only out east. The people out west think it's weird, too. We do say A. We do. We just I, don't I, notice I, it. I say A quite a bit, actually. Especially just in, like, texts. Also, I don't really like hockey. I don't like hockey either. But if it's on, I'll, I'll, I'll say woo. I'll, I'll appreciate a good play. If anything, I troll hockey players. <laughs> I'll find out like, oh, you like uh, you like the Calgary Flames? Man, they suck. They do suck. Like in, com just... in comparison to like the Vancouver Canucks, oh, the Canucks are so much better. And then if I find out that someone's a Canucks fan, I'll be like, oh, dude, the Canucks don't have shit on the Flames. <laughs> like just to make them angry, because they like the hockey fans freak out about their teams. Like, they get way too into it. Not as badly as soccer. Yeah, no, not even. Oh, I don't know. No, yeah, not as bad. So this dude, uh, he's a butcher. Cool. He's a pretty intimidating guy, but he's not that hard. I want to kill him, though. I was going to say, he looks like he could almost be, like, directly transported from this game into Bloodborne. Yeah. Like, he would fit. I just remembered, actually, this guy is guarding the next ember that I want, which is in that chest. Oh, sweet. And he's dead. Yeah, no, he's, he's not. I know he's dead. Yay! Large ember! Now I can upgrade my sword more. Yeah! Fuck your table. You look like you're ready to do a push-up there, but... Oh, oh, never mind. You ruined him. Oh, I remember this. I remember seeing you do this once. Do you? Yeah. Man, we got farther playing than I thought we did. I don't know how much farther than this we got, but I remember this part. But what actually now that we're already talking about Canadian stereotypes, what other stereotypes are true or not true? Um we don't live in igloos. That's definitely not true. Um yeah. people up north do. Yeah and like none of it. But uh in general, no. So this is the Pyromancer guy. 
Oh, so he's if, the one. Yeah, if you were to Pyromancer, you can get the Pyromancer glove from him. Yeah. And then learn Pyromancy. Yeah. So anyone could become a Pyromancer. Oh, okay. It's just you get it later on. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now he'll be at the first bonfire now. Okay. Like everyone else. <coughs> so if I wanted to learn any Pyromancies, I can. Cool. I just have to pay for it. Well, I, I'd say lame, but at the same... Oh, look at that sneaky little bugger. Look at him up there just staring at you all creepy. Yeah, no. Um, we don't use dog sleds to get to school. That's another stereotype that I've heard that's not true in the slightest. Yeah, I don't know how to use crossbows. Do it. There we go. Like that. Yeah, I don't know how to aim them on my own, though. Oh, okay. Oh, right up the poop. <laughs> right up the poop. <laughs> Not even the pooper, just his poop. Damn it. Ow. Ow. I might die. I died. Yep. Woo! Actually, we haven't seen that for a while. That's fine. You've been doing good. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Since I'm here, I might just grab the um, pyromancer. Yeah, the, fire, the pyromancer glove. Cool. Just because there are some enemies I wouldn't mind using it on. Ah uh, no. Yay! I flame from the great swamp. Yeah. So. None of his abilities are very good. Yeah. Bio orb is okay. Yeah. But what about iron flesh? Nah. Nah. It makes you really slow. Uh, like it's as though you're wearing really heavy armor. So I'm guessing your defense is really good then. Yeah, it increases your defense, but my god, it makes you so slow. Kill him. Nah, a lot of these enemies honestly won't follow you that far. <laughs> and since these guys don't really give me much for experience, or souls, I mean, yeah. it's not a whole lot of point. I kill that thing, just in case I can get another humanity. Yeah, because I guess stocking up on those is just a good thing, right? Yeah. It's, there's not, you can't have too many humanities. Like, you can use one, it'll give you full health, and uh, if anyone's wondering, the little counter at the top left that says zero zero right now, that's your humanity counter. And if it's grayed out like that, it means that I'm not human. And if it's glowing white, it means I'm human. And I actually had two humanities when I died. So I'll be able to get those back if I can get there. And uh, yeah, you, the humanities are for online use. If you want to summon someone into your world, you have to be human. Uh, you can be summoned into someone else's world without being human. And then you actually get a humanity if you help them. So the whole point of, like, being summoned is to help someone beat a boss. So you're only allowed to be summoned within certain areas, and it'll be the boss for that area. So they did a really good job of kind of separating that. And it also helps with keeping all the levels kind of the same. So you'll be helping someone around your level. I think there's, like, a ten level gap. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, humanities can just heal you, too. Oh, well, that's, that's more useful than the online thing. Uh, it depends. Depends if you're into online, or if you have, like, a friend that you're trying to play with. Because you can see who you're going to summon before you actually summon them. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess I've got a friend then. I'm just not one for online. No, I've barely used the online on this. It's pretty choppy, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just... The problem is, whenever I've tried to do anything online, I don't have people to play with, so it's like, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah, I, most of my friends that I got into Dark Souls didn't play it on Xbox, which is what I had it on. Yeah. They have it on, like, PS3 or PC or something. Yeah. The PvP is, uh, fun, but very not well done. Yeah, the problem is, my first ever exposure to, like, PvP was World of Warcraft. I tried World of Warcraft. I gave it an honest try. But I just couldn't do it. Well, I got up to level. I think I got up to like level 25. And the problem is, is just I found that a lot of the next 
like quest they wanted me to do were like <coughs> go with the party or go with a friend or do this and I'm like I'm not playing with anyone see I was playing World of Warcraft with one of my friends but he'd been playing it since it came out so he was really good and didn't you like super fast track or something yeah what happened was we got like triple experience because he recommended me yeah so I was I was playing with him so we both had triple experience so he started a new character that he was able to level up really fast and I was able to level up really fast because I was grinding with him. But I didn't know what I was doing because I'd never played the game, right? So I got to level like, oh, I don't know, like 67. Like, I got to a pretty high level. And I only did a few, like, dungeon things. Yeah. So I didn't really know how to play the game. And people kept getting mad at me because I was bad. Damn it, I was trying to avoid that. These things do a lot of damage. Yeah. So, oh, Jesus. Gross. The one main reason I wanted to get the Pyromancy Glove was for these guys, because they take a lot of hits, as you can see. But the Pyromancy Flame will mess them up. Oh, uh, okay. Like, even a two-headed jump attack only did 36. Yeah. Ew, it's gross. <laughs> yeah. Gross. World of Warcraft was ruined for me, mm. because I wasn't good at it, and people kept getting mad at me for it. Yeah, and then I just didn't have anyone to play with, so I got bored. Yeah. The only MMO that I ever really got into was RuneCraft, or RuneScape. Ah, uh, RuneScape. I loved RuneScape. Anyone who was a oh, come kid on. played RuneScape. Yeah, I'd play it in middle school all the time. Yeah, I played it. Yeah, that's when I played it was middle school. God, and I remember I got one of those, like, it was like some super special event, and it was like, I think it was just, like, a Santa hat or something. Oh, yeah, but, I had a Santa hat. But it was, I don't know, it was, like, some special event where only, like, 1,000 were, like, distributed, and I got one, and people <coughs> were trying to pay me a shit ton of money for it. Yeah. But I was, like, 10, 11 years old. Yeah. So I was like, no, that's okay, I'm just going to keep playing. I remember I had a member account only for a little while, and then, like, someone hacked into it. Yeah. But it, it still kept charging. Fuck! You're just having the best of times. It still kept charging me for it. Yeah. And so I wasn't able to play it, but I was still paying for it for quite some time. And uh, that made my mom very upset, cause she was actually the one paying for it. Yeah, of course. And I remember when I was playing it, they had this thing that was called the party house. Mm -hmm. And there was a treasure chest in the front of the party house. And people would go in and put items into it. And they could put absolutely anything from gold to... Like, the crappiest item in the game to the best item in the game. Yeah. And so you just get a bunch of people in there, all throw items in, and then you would pay to, like, get them to drop the items in balloons. And then the entire floor would be covered in balloons, and you'd go up to the balloons and step on them to pop them. And everyone's popping balloons, people are trying to get the best items. Mm -hmm. And one time, I just randomly ran in, Join their group, and usually they're pretty close off, so people get pissed if you do that. Yeah. Because basically you're just stealing their items. Yeah. So I did that. I just stole their items. And I got one of the best swords in the game. It was a dragon longsword. Ah, sweet. And I remember I ran in, popped a couple of balloons, got it, and left. Yeah. And everyone was like, who got the sword? Who got the sword? And I was like, ah! Oh. And just ran away. Hi, bitch. God, you know what's crazy? That's still, like, that game's still running. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's on a new... Uh, system now it's like there's a completely new version of it yeah i saw it was like all 3d graphics and everything and i'm like this isn't the runescape i know uh the runescape that i played had like 3d pixel models like like the really really shit ones though right like there was i played it when it first started and it was like these super colorful yet really shitty models and then they made these like more 3d polygon almost like final fantasy 7-esque models yeah and now they've got like an even newer one yeah, I know because so, I got the super new one. So. Sh shit. I'm going to kindle the bonfire that was up here, actually. Okay. You're worried about the future? Not just that. There's. I want to be human for this one section coming up. Oh, uh, okay. Not so that I don't, I don't want to, like, uh... Oops. I don't want to summon anybody, like, to yeah. help me. But there's an NPC that will be summoned that I want to fight. Uh... Oh, is it like that, like, barbarian chip? <coughs> no. That's later on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can kindle it again yet. No. No. 
I can do that later on. Without the secret right. What's the secret right? Uh, it's this uh, thing that I drop onto the Lord Vessel. It's called the Lord Vessel, and it's basically a giant bowl. <laughs> I'll get it after Ornstein and Smog. Cool. Huzzah! I'm a Beyblade! Beyblade! Ow. Plus, I wouldn't mind having 10 Estus Flasks for this area. Aja! Oh, I, I knew you were in there, too. Oh, right, because it increases to 10 when you kindle it, right? Yeah. Watcha! Look at all these rats. Aw, oh, rats. <laughs> Look at that rat. Ew. Ew. It's hot. So nasty. Woodbang. 10 out of 10. So I hate this area of the game. Yeah. And honestly, a lot of the time I usually skip it. But I was like, nah, whatever. Let's just do it. Might as well. I can't see. Oh, right, there's a Chancellor down here. That bastard. <laughs> Why is he back down here? Uh, it's a different one. Oh, they just looks the exact same. Yeah, they're the exact same. Uh, so there's like a whole league of them. Yeah. Did that rat just like bitch slap you? <laughs> this guy's weapon yeah. is a one hit kill. All right. Didn't I get it, or I got one very similar when I was playing? I you think probably it was got it. It's one. a faith weapon though, so you, you probably wouldn't use it. No. Cool. Well, that actually went way better than I thought it would. That went smooth. Yeah, this entire this entire trip's going pretty pretty smoothly. Da, da, I don't want to jinx it because I haven't even encountered the frogs yet, and that's where it gets hard. Is there an ice boss in this game? An ice boss? Yeah. Um. Uh, no. There's a damn it. There's like a crystal dude that kind of looks like ice. Yeah, well, then it's a dude. I was gonna ask next if the ice boss was a lady. No. Well, it's a dragon. Oh. Could be, a, could be a female dragon. Could be. His name's Seath. Duh, duh, duh. She's as cold as ice. Uh, uh. I like that song. That's a really good song, actually. Ah. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. I didn't see you there. Be is a there, pile is, of gunk. After you kill this thing, is there, like, anything in the immediate area that'll kill you? Um, I don't think so. Okay, because we're at the end. Is that over been 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we could start from here next time. Yeah. All right. Next time on Perfectly Calm Gaming, I will continue traversing through this rat-filled sewer area into Blighttown. Yay, Plague! Bye! Bye!